hello guys how you doing how's your day how's it going so i decided to do another vlog style video today although i'm talking about something that my <sighs> is a bit hard and that is you know why coding is hard right but while i'm talking to you about that i'd like to kind of show you a tour of this place um so yeah i hope you have fun watching this even though what I'm going to be talking about might be coming off for some people but you know I have to tell you guys how it is I don't like to mince words you know if, even though I'm going to be saying it with as much love as I can but you know I'm just going to be telling you guys how it is and I'm showing you a tour of this building as well and I hope you have fun okay so if you are new to this channel um welcome my name is susan i talk about topics that are related to faith tech and lifestyle so let me show you guys the balcony um here i used to call this place baranda at first and my husband is always laughing at me when i say that and reminding me how bush i am so this is what the balcony looks like uh it's quite loud in here so i'm going to have to shout a little bit uh, for you to hear me but yeah so let's take a quick tour um outside the apartments whoosh whoosh so it might be a little bit loud here but i hope that my mic is loud enough and you can all hear me um yes yeah. so you guys i've had a lot of conversations with people that you know want to go into tech and they're like oh my goodness i'm starting this tutorial next week um uh, uh i'm getting started in tech like right now there's nothing you can tell me there's nothing you can tell me i'm going to start right now and then i asked them some weeks after and they are not coding any longer right and it's because for some people where right, they actually discover that this is not for them and they stop maybe because they just feel like they don't want to do it long term and i feel like that's fine but some people actually quit because of a couple of traps that they fall into and i want to talk about those traps you know in this video as i take you through a tour of this place so this is the residence lounge this way and the private study the gym and the restroom is also this way i think i will take you through to the study and the gym well this is the pool well, maybe i'll come to the pool too we'll, we'll see about that <laughs> so you guys okay this is like the track space uh it's like a 400 or 350 meter track i think and there's a playground here okay you guys so somebody literally just came to ask me whether she was in my video and begged me to delete it so i did just that actually i wasn't planning to post the video if any but any face was showing but you know for security reasons i guess so yeah as i was saying right um one of the core reasons why it gets um hard for a lot of people is that coding is something that needs you to actually sit down to learn right it needs you to actually sit down to understand it it takes lots of time it takes a lot of effort it takes grit <laughs> it takes patience there are some concepts that are pretty hard you know to understand oh my goodness i really love this view like but yeah this tiktok has these days go around saying you can learn how to code in in two weeks you know in two days but it's not always the case right because coding might take it takes longer for some people you know and you know our learning patterns are different our learning styles are different that's also something that needs to be factored in so you can't just think that if you have not learned something within two weeks then you know maybe it's not for you sometimes you just need more time to kind of understand you know whatever it is that you're trying to learn so you guys another thing that i feel like a lot of people um have an issue with is actually staying in a spot to learn for long periods of time so the thing with coding is be because because there are some kids like screaming in the background so sorry about that the thing with coding is that a lot of times you need to um stay 
probably for long periods of time like two hours straight one hour straight to kind of properly grasp a topic right or a concept right so <laughs> you need to stay to grasp a con a, a topic so um for some people after like 15 20 minutes they're already like standing up and going to do other things right and then when they come back maybe you get interrupted by a phone call or by somebody like trying to get your attention sometimes it's hard to get back to the flow right of how, how what you were learning before you got interrupted so that's another reason why a lot of people feel like they easily kind of get out of coding yeah just because of things like this not taking long enough time to learn a concept you know being interrupted sometimes you literally need to shut everything off shut off your shut off your phone to have that um good quality period of time to learn right and so that's something that you want to keep in mind so yeah another thing is that a lot of concepts uh in coding our abstract right and it requires you to think in a certain way sometimes think beyond what you can actually see and so that thinking abstractly is what would actually help you to come up with a solution to a problem that you encounter and that's why a lot of times even if you use stack overflow right and you you have a problem you're trying to solve you can use stack overflow to kind of come up with or to see a related problem and then now figure out how to solve like the issue that you are facing that is a little bit different from what you have seen on stack overflow so these are parts of coding that needs you to come up like to be innovative about solutions and it comes from a place of thinking abstractly as well you guys i have to come close to tell you about this one it's about uh um support structures this is another reason why people quit easily why people find coding hard people find coding hard because they don't have enough support and i can't like i can't overstate this really i've, I've said this in my reels i've said it everywhere please don't learn how to code on your own right if you have had prior experience and you're just trying to get back into the game that's fine but if you're new and you have not learned anything related to coding before i always advise that you get someone that can help you some people cringe at the mention of the word mentor and that's okay but as long as you're having support you don't necessarily actually have to have a mentor but you need some support right because if you have some support you're going to grow 10 times faster than you would if you're working alone so yeah you guys like just make sure that you are keeping all these things in mind one last thing i'd like to talk about as a reason why people kind of bounce out of coding is because they get stuck in tutorial hell and i've talked about what tutorial hell is before in some of my instagram videos and it's basically a space you are in where you're kind of um in a vicious cycle of tutorials you start this tutorial you start another one right and sometimes instead of you actually starting to build new things or discover new problems just because you are following a tutorial you are less inclined to do so right so um as much as possible i'd advise that you kind of uh, look at solutions you can build on top of a tutorial you're following or look at creating a new entire solution right so building something from scratch is one way to go about this right um you know just ensuring that you're not stuck in that cycle of just being doing tutorials alone because at the end of the day when you get this job when you start working at this place the tutorials are not going to help you it's, a, it's your ability to actually solve problems that would help you so basically the idea of coding is to be a problem solver to actually identify loopholes to see edge cases you know things that are not apparent you know being able to provide solutions to those things you know the bare minimum is fixing issues that you can't see but now going the extra mile to discover things that people you know typically want and fixing it is what makes you a problem solver so you guys keep this in mind i know that it is difficult learning how to code honestly for me you guys like ah my coding journey was not easy oh <laughs> i mean some people say they cried and stuff actually i think i remember one time i cried but it wasn't because of a bug it was just because i i didn't feel like i was learning as fast as i should have 
um, and I was surrounded by other people that I feel were learning faster than I was so it was kind of frustrating and I also wasn't seeking out support and I think that's why I felt frustrated as well you know I was in this space of like I figure it out myself nobody needs to help me and I suffered for it right so um, it was difficult for me um, it's going to be difficult for a lot of people but it's always good to kind of anticipate this so that you're not like surprised that you can't fix something or you're not learning something as fast as you should you know and yeah that's pretty much it so i hope that this video has helped you um i'm going to take you guys to see the pool right now and probably the gym i can't take you to the rooftop because i'm uh, i'm tired and i want to go back inside it's hot out here but yeah i will take you to see the pool and the gym so this is the pool it's pretty beautiful actually it's just by the track and there are people in there so i wouldn't get too close i would just record like um part of it for you to see so yeah that's the pool people we are going back into the apartment and i will take you right to the gym i think the gym is somewhere here here it's here so nobody's at the gym right now but we have these bikes these um treadmills ellipticals weights and what else this this yeah, that's pretty much it for the gym not a lot of drama going on here but so i typically come here in the night or in the mornings to work out mostly nights actually yeah that's it so you guys that is for our video today and the tour i hope you had a good time i hope you learned something um if you're new to this channel please subscribe um give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you learned something um and i will see you in the next video have a good day and Take care.